Eddie Soto has clearly arrived, and San Francisco soccer is alive. It's about here and now. Your attitude and your approach, what you're doing every day, I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna compete, I'm gonna win. Everything we do comes from within you. Far side, and it's in the back of the net. A golden goal for San Francisco! USF Soccer, here and now. We play UCLA on a Saturday night in a scrimmage. We're gonna jump on a bus, head down south. They're an incredible team. They were close to winning national championship last year. Every year they're gonna compete for a national championship. It's gonna be a great test for us, for the schedule that we have to be able to play against UCLA going in the following weekend when it counts. I couldn't have asked for a better preseason game. You're in Southern California, you got the access to Manhattan Beach, to Santa Monica. So it's an excellent opportunity for us to do some team building. Are really spending a lot of time on the field, so you're getting to know each other as players, but it's just as important, if not more, to get to know each other as humans off the field, where it's not just business, you know, they need to really like each other. On and off the field, we're a unit as a team. I've only been here for a week and a half, and I already feel like I'm part of the brotherhood. When you spend so much time together, not just training, but off the field, you know, we're always hanging out. It's advantageous and it makes it easier to, you know, to play together. Hey. Hola, Salima. Vos también puedes salir, ¿eh? A saludarme. ¿Cómo está, Mate? ¿Cómo está? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien. ¿Cómo te fue todo? Bien, todo tranquilo, todo. My mom's a hairstylist, so I don't really have to like pay for my uh, hair. Cuando tú empezó a jugar en um, en Newell's, que quiso el corte de Manso, Manso. Después se hizo el corte de Batistuta. Este, pero no, desde ahí empezamos a hacer siempre locura. Todo lo verde hasta atrás, viste de todas las dos líneas, rellena todo. Verde. He wants to be an individual on the field and off the field. He doesn't care what other people think, and we love that characteristic about Aaron. Ese va a ser tantas veces pueda cambiar el cabello, porque después se va a quedar calvo y no va a poder hacer más cambios. Entonces se la tiene que aprovechar ahora, ¿no? If you look at him, you you think that he's like a punk rock star. His personality, he's so quiet, very reserved kid. You know, he just embraces everything. He's, he's someone who just loves life and, and loves everything that he's doing. Cuando se se tiñó el pelo y dice, "Mam, me voy a poner el pelo rosa." Le digo, "¿Y eso?" Porque yo quiero hacerlo sopor a la abuela. Pero él quiso hacer este El soporte para esas mujeres y para todas las mujeres, ¿no? El corazón que tiene. En ningún aspecto de la vida es egoísta. Ah, ¿qué? Gracias, ma. Tomu, tomu, tomu. Okay, good. He just loves the game, you know. Being from Argentina, the culture that he was raised in. His life is about soccer. It's a religion for him. Every time I just step on the field, you know, you just forget about everything else. Just enjoy it on the field, you know. He's really passionate about the game, puts his heart into it, and very technical, very fast. He's got that Argentinian suave movement. He's just got that personality. He's relaxed, but as soon as he's on the field, he wants to win. He's definitely going to be one of those guys who, who we will look to. Split it by Lombardi! His second goal! A golden goal for San Francisco! I was going hard and every ball they go into, they go in like it's the last ball. Hits the post! Oh, that could have been special! And Lombardi cleans up for San Francisco! Aaron Lombardi, second goal by San Francisco! I want to see like the smiles on my parents' faces because of all the sacrifices they've made, not only me, and they've always been there for me. 
que sea su sueño, que sea profesional. Pero más me gustaría que sea una excelente persona, un hombre de bien. Siempre lleno de amor en el corazón. UCLA has traditionally been a very strong uh, soccer program. They continually, year after year, attract the best talent available in the country, and now even around the world. Before I came here, I wasn't overly familiar with who were the strong teams, who were the big teams, but I had heard of teams like UCLA. When I heard we were playing UCLA, I mean, it was one of the things that made me really want to come here. I was pumped for it. I think it's going to be an awesome experience. And even though it's just a preseason scrimmage, it doesn't really count for our record, it might be our biggest test all year. I was there for eight years. It, it's an incredible place. It's a beautiful, beautiful campus. Looking forward to seeing some of the players that, you know, that I recruited and that I coached. But, so don't break my hand when you shake uh -huh. it, right? How you doing? <laughs> Jam, you could keep your shirt on, dude. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Family, right? Yeah, family's good. School? School's, school's still there? Yeah, school's still there. I've seen some of the faculty, some of the administration. You know, when you're somewhere for eight years, it's like home. What's up, buddy? How are you? How are you, sir? How are you? So good to see you. I wanted to wear the old, uh, the old colors, but our socks were white, and you guys have white socks, and when I gave them up. Their head coach, Jorge Salcedo, uh, and I have lifelong friends. We've been close ever since we were kids. We grew up together in the same neighborhood played on the same youth teams, played on the youth national teams. Working for him was, was phenomenal. He's an incredible coach, he's an incredible person. You know, we've been best friends for many, many years. I've known Eddie through all the phases of his life, you know, just as a young boy, um, you know, a teenager, a young man, and now obviously as a, as a grown man and a coach of a prestigious program at USF. What I'm looking for today is how do we respond to playing a team like this? You know, it was nice to see them come out and perform and play hard and to push us. It was a good game and a last good exhibition game for both programs. Every game will get stronger, every game we're going to get sharper. But to play against the number one team in the country, okay? The way you guys did in that first 45 was impressive. David, where you at? Great goal, man. You know, Aron came in, gave us a good service. Okay, I always felt that we, we, we were in the entire game. Guys, a round of applause to you guys. It was good. <laughs>